Here we will see data list control in ASP.NET. Data list control is a server side control that work as a container for data items. It is a data bound control which is used to display and manipulate data in a web application as a list format. This control can combine other ASP.NET controls and it is presented in the form. The data list and repeater controls render their content using templates rather than bound field, checkbox field, button field and so on. Like the grid view control, the data list renders as an HTML table, but it allows for multiple data source records to be displayed per table row. It displays data from the data source. The data source can be either a data table or a table from the database. The data list control can be created using the design section by dragging and dropping the control from the ASP.NET toolbar window or it can also create it from the markup section using the code, data list, its ID and the attribute run at server. There are different templates in data list controls. First is item template which is a required template that provides the content and layout for items in the data list. Alternating item template. If this template is defined, it provides the content and layout for alternating items in the data list. If not, the item template is used. Edit item template. If this template is defined, it provides the content and layout for the items currently being edited in the data list. If it is not defined, item template is used. Footer template. If this template is defined, it provides the content and layout for the footer section of the data list. If it is not defined, a footer section will not be displayed. Header template. If it is defined, it provides the content and layout for the header section of the data list. If not defined, header section will not be displayed. Selected item template. If it is defined, it provides the content and layout for the currently selected item in the data list. If it is not defined, item template is used. Separator template. If this template is defined, it provides the content and layout for the separator between items in the data list. If it is not defined, a separator will not be displayed. The appearance of the data list control may be customized by setting the style properties for the different parts of the control. Some of the different style properties are listed below. Alternating item style which specifies the style for alternating items in the data list control. Edit item style, which specifies the style for the item being edited in the data list control. Footer style specifies the style for the footer in the data list control. Header style specifies the style for the header in the data list control. Item style specifies the style for the items in the data list control. Selected item style, which specifies the style for the selected item in the data list control. Separator style specifies the style for the separator between the items in the data list control. Different properties of data list controls are ID, which is used to get or sets the programmatic identifier assigned to the control. Access key property is used to get or sets the access key that allows user to quickly navigate the server control. Back color property is used to get or sets the background color of the server control. Back image URL property is used to get or sets the URL of the background image to be displayed behind the control. Binding container property is used to get the control that contains this control's data binding. Border color property is used to get or sets the border color of the web control. Border style property is used to get or sets the border style of the web server control. Border width property is used to get or sets the border width of the web server control. Caption property is used to get or sets the text to render an HTML caption element in the control. Caption align property is used to get or sets the horizontal or vertical position of the HTML caption element in a control. Cell padding property is used to get or sets the amount of space between the contents of the cell and the cell border. Cell spacing property is used to get or sets the amount of space between the cells. CSS class property is used to get or sets the cascading style sheet class rendered by the web server control. Enabled property is used to get or sets a value indicating whether the web server control is enabled. Font property is used to get the font properties associated with the web server control. 
four color property is used to gets or sets the foreground color that is the color of text of the web server control footer style property is used to gets the style properties for the footer section in the data list control Grid line property is used to gets or sets the grid line style for the data list control when the repeat layout property is set to repeat layout dot table. Height property is used to gets or sets the height of the web server control. Items property is used to gets the collection of data list item objects representing the individual items within the control. Item style property is used to gets the style properties for the items in the data list control. Item template property is used to gets or sets the template for the items in the data list control. Repeat column property is used to gets or sets the number of columns to display in the data list control. Selected index property is used to gets or sets the index of the selected item in the data list control. Selected item property is used to gets the selected item in the data list control. Selected item style property is used to gets the style properties for the selected item in the data list control. Selected value property is used to gets the value of key field for the selected data list item. Separator style property is used to gets the style properties of the separator between each item in the data list control. Separator template property is used to gets or sets the template for the separator between the items of the data list control. Show footer property is used to gets or sets a value indicating whether the footer section is displayed in the data list control. Show header property is used to gets or sets a value indicating whether the header section is displayed in the data list control. Visible property is used to gets or sets a value that indicates whether a server control is rendered as UI on the page. Tab index property is used to gets or sets the tab index of the server control. Tooltip property is used to gets or sets the text displayed when the mouse pointer hovers over the web server control. Different methods are data bind which binds the data source to the invoked server control and its child controls. Dispose method enables the server control to perform final cleanup before it is released from memory. Focus method is used to set the input focus to the control. Two string method returns a string that represents the current object. Different events for data list controls are cancel command which occurs when the cancel button is clicked for an item in the data list control data binding data binding event occurs when the server control binds to a data source delete command event occurs when the delete button is clicked for an item in the data list control disposed event occurs when a server control is released from memory which is the last stage of the server control life cycle Init event occurs when the server control is initialized which is the first step in its life cycle. Item command occurs when any button is clicked in the data list control. Item created event occurs on the server when an item in the data list control is created. Item data bound event occurs when an item is data bound to the data list control. Load event occurs when the server control is loaded into the page object. Pre-render event occurs after the control object is loaded but prior to rendering. Selected index change event occurs when a different item is selected in a data listing control between post to the server. Unload event occurs when the server control is unloaded from memory.